Good morning friends. I hope everyone is doing well. I request everyone to watch my videos in a sequence for better understanding. If you really like my teaching and my efforts, please press the like button, share the videos with your friends, subscribe to my channel and also press the bell button to get the regular updates. In the last video, we have discussed about a Johnson counter. In this video, I want to discuss another example on the Johnson counter so that whatever the doubts you have, all the doubts will be cleared. So now let me see why it is a Johnson counter. First, it is a synchronous counter because all the clocks means the common clock is given to all the flip flops. So I can say that it is a synchronous counter. Now the data from one flip flop is going to the next flip flop. So we can call it as a shift counter. Then why it is called as a Johnson counter. Now the last flip flop complement is given to the input to the first flip flop. So that's why we are calling it as a Johnson counter. If Q2 value is given to D0, then I would have called it as a ring counter. So now we will see what is this counter is doing. So to do that one, we have to find its present state and the next state. We will discuss all these things in detail. So we have the present state such as Q2, Q1 and Q0 are the present states and we have D2, D1 and D0. Similarly, we have the next states as Q2n, Q1n and Q0n. These are the next states of the each flip-flop. Now, let me differentiate these things so that you will understand the concept in a better way. Now, if you have three values and each one is a binary is possible, so you will have eight combinations as an input, which is 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1. Similarly, you have 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1. Are you able to understand? Now we will find the D2 value, D1 value and D0 value. D1 value is equal to Q0. Am I right? Because Q0 data is transferring to D1. Okay. So D1 is equal to Q0. So whatever the value is there, that value we will place in the D1, which is equal to 0, 1. Let me write a line so that it will be clearly differentiable. 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1. Similarly, if you see that Q1 is D2, meaning is that whatever the data is there in Q1 is coming to the D2. So Q1 is equal to D2, which is 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1. Similarly, if you look at it, Q2's complement is D0. Okay, we have Q2 whose complement. So complement meaning is what? If it is 0, 0's complement is 1, that you need to place at D0. So this is 1, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0. 0. So we got the values D2, D1, D0 from the Q2, Q1, Q0. Now we will try to calculate the, the next values. Now to calculate the next state Q0, N, Q1, N and Q2, N, we need to know the characteristic equation of the D flip-flop because all these three are the D flip-flops. So what is the characteristic equation of the D flip-flop? Qn plus 1, we see nothing but the next state is equal to D. Meaning is that whatever the value is there in the D with respect to the previous value Qn, it will be Qn plus 1 is equal to D. Using the truth table of the D flip-flop also you can find it. If you want to find it, you can draw the truth table of the D flip-flop. Then you can find the characteristic equation. Now if it is so, Q not N, Q not N is equal to D not. Will you agree with me or not? Because D not only coming. So its next state Q not N is equal to D not. So Q0 N is equal to D0, which is 1, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0. Similarly, Q1 N, its next state is equal to D1. What is D1 value? 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1. 
Similarly, Q2 next state is equal to D2. What is D2? 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1. So we got the next state of each flip-flop. Then we can find it what this counter is doing. We will see it. Now what I will do is that because it is a 3 bits binary, I will convert into decimal number. 0, 0, 0, I can write it as 0. From 0, I am going to 0, 0, 1. So I am going to 1. Okay. From 1, where is 1? From 1, you are going to 3. From 1, you are going to state 3. From 3, 3 is what? 0, 1, 1. 0, 1, 1. You are going to a state called 1, 1, 1, which is 7. From 3, you are going to a state called 7. From 7, you are going to next state, which is counting 1, 1, 0, which is 6. Okay. From 6, where you are going? You are going to state 4. From 4, where is 4? 1, 0, 0. You are going to 0 again. Okay. So we got 0, 1, 3, 7, 6, 4. What is the remaining 2? From 2, where you are going? 2 is this one. From 2, you are going to, let me write here. From 2, you are going to, this is, where is 2? This is 2, no? 0, 1, 0. From 2, you are going to 4 plus 1, 5. From 2, 2, you are going to 5. From 5, anywhere we are going? From 5, you are going to 2. Okay, so let's see whether all the states we got or not. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Okay, all the states we got. Now, if you look at it, what is this counter is doing? From 0, it is going to 1. From 1, it is going to 3. 3 to 7, 7 to 6, 4, then going to 0. So, what it is? It is mod 6 counter because the number of states are here is 6. So, this one is a mod 6 Johnson counter. Are you able to understand? Let me tell few important points. These points I request everyone to please note down it. In the previous example, I have taken a two D flip-flops and arranged as a Johnson counter. With two flip D flip-flops, I got mod 4 Johnson counter. Will you agree with me or not? Now, in this example, I have taken three D flip-flops and arranged as a Johnson counter, I got the mod 6 Johnson counter. Similarly, what I want to say is that if you take n d flip-flops and arrange them as a Johnson counter, you will get mod 2 n Johnson counter. Is it clear? If it is a ring counter with two d flip-flops, we got mod 2 ring counter. With three flip d flip-flops, we got the mod 3 ring counter. This is Johnson counter. This is the ring counter. So, with n d flip-flops, if you arrange them as a ring counter, you will get mod n ring counter. These points, I request everyone to note down so that if they ask you in a gate exam or any competitive exam, without drawing the circuit diagram and doing it, you can simply say the answer. I hope you have understood whatever the concepts I have discussed in this video. If you still have any doubts related to this concept, feel free to ask me in the comment section. I will try to clear your doubts as soon as possible. Thank you for watching my video. Have a nice day.